the solar panels cube at a 10 watt panels and they're they're four in 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 of course the square one on the bottom one on the top and i have a ball of leds that i had soldered together they run off of about 12 volts eh, maybe 13 and the panels are creating in series 65 volts so i run that to ground and i capture that through capacitors and i take that capacitance and i charge a battery with it and i can yeah. do a lot more with it yes and it, it runs all day long all night long if i want it yes it's sitting in my closet so it, it's just a matter of creating voltage differences and then allowing that difference to flow and capturing that flow and then taking that difference between the high say 65 volts and your zero ground and because it's got a flow from 65 to zero there's a current that's created and you can capture that and use it and if you add mosfets to it you can take that current that's been created and switch it really fast through an inductor creating even a higher voltage and use that and then of course there's cascading mosfets that again like lloyd was saying it allows the creation of more current to happen through the flow of each mosfet and inductor through voltage differences it's it's amazing tech so but i want to okay. you, I, I want to <laughs> applaud you lloyd for your your solar panels i was looking at it and uh I was calling it the, uh, oh, uh, what was it? No, cream cheese cake of solar panels because there was layers. <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah. I think it's awesome. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> but like I say, we, they're more upset at me giving the information out for free. And you have to, under, you have to under, understand this one thing. That's at the emphasis. It's, it's just a little baby that I gave out for free. Yeah. But I've improved the system and it, it comes with the understanding that you have to switch something at high speed. And when yeah. you start to uh, think on those lines, then you start to come up with other solutions, which I have, because I built a uh, generator and we call it a hyperdrive not because it's a cool name is because we're working off the speed of something to generate not only the little current that we have in our solar cells and uh, panels and stuff like that but we're talking about uh, megawatts and gigawatts of energy being put to uh produced out so when we're right when we're talking about this we're seeing that we're taking the technology that we have and we're building on that and making something better. But we're trying to get everybody on the same playing field. If they can quote words about voltage and amps, they should be able to do a system like this. I agree. You know what, the, you know what it is? Physicists in the science community throw out all this alphabet soup in order to confuse everybody so that they don't know how to build this stuff because yes. i like you took it to another level i had a dream yeah. with jesus christ and he showed me how to build a special coil and i've taken it from there and just with the switching and the amount of power that i'm getting out i i can't even describe to you how insane it is and the anomalies i'm seeing unbelievable this free energy is absolutely real i yes. stand by it a thousand percent well, I've been we'll, let's say this out. for we'll say this for history's sake his free energy has been around ever since we use water in a stream to turn a water wheel free energy has been around 
ever since we took a propeller and put it in the wind and let the wind blow it. That's free energy. Okay. We had free energy ever since we had solar panels, which was in the 1800s and took all this time to even start using solar. So we've had free energy for very long, thermal energy. I could just keep going on on all the free energy devices out there are been used over the, over the years. Do you know the um, people of the Himalayan mountains for, uh, used the mountains to dry freeze their food so it would last basically forever? This this free. That's free. That's not a refrigerator that they sell. That's a free device. They just take the food up into the mountains and then wimo. They they got something for free. That means Mother Nature provides. Mother Nature, God made and gave us. He said the meek should inherit the earth, and yet no one understands what God has given us. I agree. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, I've been working with something uh, close to what Maxwell's been doing, but my coil systems are a little different, but it's the same principle. It's switching very fast, creating a high voltage and filling up capacitor banks as that high voltage flows to ground. And I can use that power all day long. I can charge 10 batteries at once with a 12 volt input. Have you watched my videos? I've watched quite a few, not all of them. I'm catching up. Do, do you, <laughs> you, did you hear me mention a Mal's device and show you the pictures of his coils? Which device? I'm sorry. Mal, Mal. No, he has a YouTube I, haven't seen, I haven't seen that one. Okay, so whole point is is that it's a guy out there. You have to find his channel, and he's doing Nikolai Tesla's patents yeah. verbatim. I mean, he's he's showing you the patents, and then he's showing you how it was wound, and he makes the bucking coil. Okay, yeah. so once you understand this bucking coil, any any energy that you put in it at high gigabytes i'm talking about the very energy that will kill you and me yep if you put that through his device it acts as a faraday cage and that faraday cage will then take that and use it as a usable energy now Sounds i'm giving you a little bit more information that i should because i don't want people using radiation and what's names but just say that we're one of the books that I put out and I gave it to Webb is a nuclear battery. And nice. it works on the same principle. Nice. Yeah. The systems I'm working on are a little different than I think you're describing, but at the same time, um, yeah, I'm I'm pulling right now 2KW out of a 12 volt battery. And I can start the system with a watch battery. Right. Yeah. Yes. This is possible. Yeah. It's just the switching. It's all on how it operates and how the circuit goes. It, it, isn't it funny that when they show that the MOX generator can take something from 1.5 into 100,000 volts of power? Yes. And then they, what do they do with that power? Nothing. Exactly. They, just, they, they just wasted. They say, oh, look at the sparks. Look at the pretty sparks. And they don't tell you anything else. But here's what I tell you, because once they made that, because Tesla did the same thing, he sat yep. a chair in, in these enormous electrical sparks was dancing around him. The whole point is, is that now you take that voltage and you put it into a high frequency. Yep. This was the video I did about the speaker. Did you see that one? Yes, I did see that one. Okay. So anytime that you do that, which is telling you that speaker is a electromagnetic wave, and anytime you send it back and forth at high speeds, you're going to be able to light those 100 LED lights yep. easily. 
I get so what you're both, saying. Yeah, right. I totally get what you're saying. I do. Because that's kind right. of the same principle that I use. My coils are buckling coils, but they're 180 degrees out of phase. They're not like regular bifiler coils. They're different. And they right. do the same thing. They create electromagnetic waves. And I have pickup coils on the outside of the coil that picks up all the power so that I can keep the system spinning, keep it flowing as I'm collecting the power and it takes nothing off the primary battery. Right. Yeah. I just create the field and then I tap the field. That's because you're creating a wave. And I just got through telling uh, Webb the same thing. Once you put something in in, in a wave, how many people can um, take that radio wave and get the signal without exhausting the original point. It's unlimited. So this is the reason why I tell people to try to break it down. I was like, look, if you put out a radio wave, how many people can listen to that radio? He said unlimited. So you're doing the same thing. You're putting out an electromagnetic wave and it's unlimited power. Absolutely. And I capture it all in one system. Uh, there was a question. Yeah. My name is Gerald and my channel is WPG Enlightened for Truth 2. I've, I have placed a link. There is a link in the, they can be able to see it in the chat section. Thank you very much, Chris. And also I can see, I, 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 I was using, I'm using a free version of the streaming software. It tells me that I have, I think, three minutes to go. Okay. Or okay. Me. I'll try. I'll try. I'll, I'll pay for it so that next time we can be able to hang out around for long. Well, I appreciate right. you guys inviting me on. Uh, I'm Gerald Lloyd. Yeah. I've watched your stuff. Chris, I've been watching your stuff for the last little bit. This Maxwell uh, uh, excitement has gone everywhere, and I hope it continues. So I thank you for bringing me on, and appreciate the time. I wanted to just say that. You have seen your channel. I've subscribed. If I think other people can also go and subscribe to you. Yeah, I I've see you. You have a lot of tech stuff. Huh? Yeah, well, I've been working on it for a while. In fact, I got so close to it that they uh, hacked my first channel, my Facebook, my um, uh, X account. I can't get any social media except for YouTube. I'm locked out of my Facebook, everything, because of the tech I work on. So we're all in the same boat. (laughs) Yes, because I experienced the same thing. And the guy I was telling you about, Mel, they literally are erasing his comments and other things so they can't tell other people. So we're all experienced this. But once you get onto these programs and you're letting people know that they're doing this, this proves that it's not a conspiracy theory, is that they're actually doing this. I recorded it in real time, Lloyd, while it happened. So yes. I have proof. So we're yes. going to it's going to lose connection in, <laughs> in Okay, well if we lose seconds. connection, it was good meeting you both. And in hopefully fifteen seconds. We can try again tomorrow. Good. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, good night for everyone who's going to sleep or to bed. Okay, well, I will watch Oh, he's still around, I think. Okay, well, if if we get cut off, I'll be watching for you guys tomorrow, and if you invite me on, I'll I'll try and show a little demo. It seems like it it is still around, but it was supposed to to cut like two minutes ago. Yeah, it's still live. They're probably trying to surprise you. You're probably going to say something critical, and then it's going to go out. So yeah. <laughs> say something important and watch it go. <laughs> okay. I create electromagnetic vortex coils that have an output of anywhere between 10 and 100 times output. And I can change the temperature of the room that they're operating in to a colder temperature because I cycle the heat 